Hi, everyone. It's Coco Peru with I'll Show You Mine, a drag queen show and tell. And today I have a special guest from San Francisco. This queen started Tranny Shack. She owned her own club, Oasis. I've been in shows with her. She is someone who literally makes me cackle whenever I'm around her. She's one of my dear friends. Please welcome Eklina. Hi, everybody. Hi, Coco. It's so good to talk to you. I'm so desperate for companionship. <laughs> but yes, I'm coming to you live. Long before the pandemic. It's true. It's true. Yeah, I'm coming at you from my fabulous Palm Springs home. Maybe right behind me. Can you see the pool? Sort of. You can kind of make it out. Well, what you did well for yourself up there in San Francisco. Let me tell you, this is that this pool, this house, that's a lot of eyelashes and, and wigs went into getting this thing, honey. Well, you know, you're hard. And I've had the pleasure of both going to Tranny Shack years ago, before I knew you, and then, of course, being able to perform in your nightclub oasis was has been amazing. So you were uh, definitely one of the all time best shows we ever had was uh, was your shows that you came and did there. And I'm not saying that just because you put me on this little uh, show today. Uh, okay. I mean it. I mean it. Um, so I'm going to show you something that means a lot to me. Oh, God. Now, one, of the, one of the things. No, it's not, it's nothing. Nothing. But what one of the things that I really I never knew about you until I really got to know you was that you are originally from Iceland. Correct. I, and you actually speak that language. I do. So what I didn't know was like, but because you always seem to understand our cultural references so well. And one of the things that I grew up with, of course, was Looney Tunes and Bugs Bunny. I was thinking about it. Like I, I thought about like Bugs Bunny truly for many of us drag queens was our first drag queen or at least cross dresser. So what right. I, right? Yeah. So what I, did you have Looney Tunes where you grew up? Well, I must say I was born in the United States. My mother was Icelandic, but I went to live in Iceland. So I'm an American citizen. I'm half Icelandic. But I do remember as a child, before I moved to Iceland, where there was no television back in the 80s, I remember um, getting up in the U.S. and watching H.R. Puff and stuff, <laughs> Looney, Looney Tunes, and, you know, all that stuff. So I definitely remember, and I remember the episode of Bug with Bugs Bunny or the cartoon where uh, it was the opera and she had to put on the Valkyrie uh, braids. I do remember that. So beautiful. So one of the things I was going to, sh- well, the, the thing I was going to show you today was that I have a friend and maybe you know him, T- Terry Bloss, who's a great cartoonist. And um, he's done work for me and I've um, hired him to do uh, work for me. But this was something he just drew on himself. It's Bugs Bunny as Coco Peru. Oh, that's amazing. Isn't it wonderful? Oh, yeah, it's wonderful. Yeah, he's really talented. I want to have him the one. You should ask him. He, Terry Bloss, he's great. And he, he even um, made cutouts, like cutout dolls. So I have a couple of those as well that he gave me. So that's the thing I wanted to share with you. Uh, just when you think about it, funny, that was our first drag queen for a lot of us. So, Darling, what is it you've got to show me? It's so appropriate that you, that your thing involved you. You're very, <laughs> what an ego, what an ego. Ah. Now, I just have to say, I want to say that here, yes, I am in Palm Springs. I fled San Francisco. It was like the fall of Saigon, getting on a helicopter, getting because the, the shit was hitting the fan. So I drove down here. I brought hardly any drag. Uh, I brought the prior, my priority in my Kia Soul was my cat, uh, the litter box, the cat house, the cat food, uh, you know, all that stuff, the litter, you know, everything. And then drag was kind of an afterthought. And also my tchotchkes. I don't have a lot of you know, right. things that, that hold sentiment about everything here in my house is brand new, of course. But there is something I want to show you that does mean a lot to me. When I bought this house, my realtor got me a kind of a welcoming, a welcome to Palm Springs gift. And it lives outside uh, in my patio right next to my pool. And it is this wire cock. <laughs> so uh, it's a, and so I've had, I've had so much fun with this rooster. Uh, whenever my pool boy comes over, I say, what do you think of my huge cock? And um, they never seem to really get the joke, but I'm always in stitches, you know what I mean? <laughs> now that I think about it, 
Um, now that I think about it, I've gone through, I've only lived here for a little over a year and I've gone through three pool boys already. So <laughs> it, I should stop with the joke, you know what I mean? But I'm very, tell me, what do you think of my huge cock? I mean, you match the cock. You're both wearing red hair. You've got yellow. I mean, it's just brilliant. I, I never thought about that. Yeah, it's, yeah. it totally works. It's like you made it happen. Heck, Lena, that's what I absolutely adore about you, that no matter, you are so absurd on so many levels that I just cackle with you constantly. Thank you. <laughs> and you have a beautiful, beautiful giant cock. Thank Look, you. I love saying that. It barely fits in your hands, for God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> I'm that desperate for well, it's actually I, I'm I talk to my cock like it's actually a person because oh. I'm so lonely in this in my big mansion. Well, so, listen. Having said that, one of the reasons we're doing this is that you know we're in the middle of this, and there's a lot of people out there that are part of our community that feel very alone right now. So we're just trying to keep them company. So um, I know there's people out there that really appreciate that you took the time to get dressed up today to do this with me and share your cock with all of them. I would have been so upset if you had not asked me. I'm so oh, honored you asked me. Thank you. Now, now I guess I'll clean my house and drag or... <laughs> Take a spin. <laughs> <laughs> and then go underwater, but for a really long time. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. See how long I can hold my breath? Yeah. Yeah. I'll take the cock with me. All right. <laughs> I love you, Heclina, so much. Thank you so much. Bye, honey. Bye.